Dead ground. What's up, you hooligans? And we're back. Today we are going to be doing, uh, putting some of this rust preventer, rust converter, metal primer on the uh, bed of this double cab. Um, so I've never used this stuff before, but I'm just going to try it in spots that I'm not replacing. Like this is a pretty good uh, piece right here. Um, I'm replacing this one. As you can see, it's got a rust hole. Uh, it's not going to be put on this, but basically just trying it out today. Um, so per the instructions of this, it says, uh, you guys can't see, it says prep. And yeah, basically that's about it. Uh, so we're going to prep the surface. We're going to grind it up. Um, there's really no grease or oils on it, but I'll hit it with some uh, alcohol to clean it up and then uh, we'll apply it liberally with this fancy paintbrush and uh, see how she does. It takes 24 hours to dry, so I'll update you guys basically uh, 24 hours after we apply it. So uh, let's get started on applying this stuff. All right, so I'm basically just going to be using this to uh, get all this uh, rust off on this one and then we'll go to the next one and the next one and the next one. I am going to wear a mask uh, because this stuff is pretty putrid. So. I'm gonna go grab my goggles too because holy shit. Every time I breathe, I fog my goggles. Let me take this off so you can hear me too. I'm gonna hit like uh, right there of a high spot from the factory spot welds. Right there, I still have factory spot weld left. I have to grind down. Um, so I'll just prep basically this one right here for this paint, and then we'll uh, we'll get painting. All right. So to get this high point down. I'm going to be using this uh, very flat hammer and then I'm also going to be using this uh, flat piece of metal underneath um, and hopefully we can fly on this thing out. I'll try to get a good camera angle so you guys can see. Hopefully you guys can see this. Make one more hit and it should be pretty good. Maybe two. I want to get it perfect. Okay. And I think that looks pretty good. It actually looks really good. That's nice and flat. I also have one right here too, so I'm going to go get that. Maybe I can zoom in and you guys can see what I'm doing. If I focus. Can you focus? Okay, awesome. All right, so now I'm gonna go grind this down and get this nice and flat. Um, I'm basically doing all this, so later on when I go and put the uh, load bed on, um, it'll go on nice and flat and give me no issues. That is pretty flat. Perfect. Okay, and I think the rest of it looks pretty good. All right, now, um, 
kind of just want to paint it, but I guess I'll I'll do all the rest of these, and then uh, then I'll paint it. I'm getting a little ahead of myself. I'm getting too excited to put this stuff on, but um, all right, I'll go finish up the rest of these, and then uh, then we'll get painting this stuff on, and then yeah, we'll go from there. So I'm not gonna do every little thing and show you guys. So I'll update you guys in a little bit. All right, I lied. I guess I'll give you guys some good content and we'll go through this whole entire thing together. That way you guys see what I'm working on and you guys won't miss a thing. So most of the stuff is gonna be either cut or fast forwarded through. So, uh, yeah. God, you guys get that? Jesus, I almost just died. Holy shit. That's like those stories that you guys hear when those girls with long hair don't put their hair up and they get caught in a freaking laze and shit. Oh my God, I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna cut this right now and go look at it. All right, well that was crazy, but uh, let's get going. Let's keep going. Try not to get my shirt caught in there again. This whole side over here, I don't know what happened to it, but this whole corner is just messed up. It must have just like been in the elements for years and years and years and years and years and years. Ugh. If I got the mask off, all I can taste is like sweetness, like rust. Ugh. All right, so I just looked it up and no one's doing what I'm doing. All they're doing is just taking a scotch bright pad and just getting all the dirt off. Everyone says that you need the rust on here in order to use the rust converter you can't just go slapping on nice clean metal and then uh, thinking it's gonna do anything it doesn't work like that you need rust to convert so um i think i'm just gonna hit it with scotch bright and then yeah i'll go from there all right so now i'm just removing all the dirt um i got my scotch bright and yeah Really, just to remove all the dirt, I probably could just use, I don't know, kind of lift it up and use a vacuum or something to get all this dirt and rust and, and all this slime off. Pretty, pretty good. I mean, I gotta get the other side. So let's go do the other side. I don't know why I brought the paintbrush with me. I'll grab a new one. This one's a little soft.
Alright, I'm gonna go grab the shop vac and vacuum all the stuff up. Alright, this thing sucks. Well, actually, it doesn't suck. I gotta clean it out. My, why my shop vac isn't working? You guys see that? All the mold and everything on that? Freaking gross. I'm gonna take that off and uh, I don't have a new one, so I'll just run it without a filter. But holy shit, that is gross. Alright, so I ended up vacuuming. All along the wheel wells, all the stuff that I um, did with the Scotch Bright pads. Um, so now the next step is to paint it. So let's go get going on that. I don't have an actual paint bucket or anything, so I'm just gonna use this, clean this out a little bit, dip a little bit in, tip it to its side so I can dip my brush in. Um, yeah, I gotta use what you have, so that's what I'll be using. Well, the stuff kind of like smells like Elmer's glue or like the inside of like a grandma's purse. It's a weird thing to say, but it does. It's coming out so thick. I gotta open this thing up a little bit more. I don't want to use all of it. I just want to use, I think that should be okay for right now. Put the cap back on and we'll uh, get painted. So it says to put it on in a, in a thick coat. So let's try it out. Oh, that's pretty thick. That's good like that. And then it should turn all this rust black by tomorrow. People say painting's therapeutic. They're fucking psychotic. This is not therapeutic. I'd rather be grinding and hammering. Grinding and hammering's therapeutic. Not this tedious stuff. This is like so easy, like a monkey could do it, you know? I'm gonna update you guys in a little bit because this is gonna be a long video. Alright, so we're all done painting. Uh, as you guys can see, I got literally every crack and surface here. I didn't get the gas tank because taking that out, do this separately, and I'm cutting out those floors right there. Uh, but everything else, I got, and I didn't miss anything. I really took my time with this. It actually took me. Geez, probably a good, I don't know, two hours just to do this one little section. So excited to do the rest of the frame of the truck. But um, yeah, um, I'll update you guys tomorrow when it dries. You can already kind of see what it's doing. I mean, it's, let me find a section, like right here. See how it's turning all the rust black? Um, so yeah. And all the rust that was on my hand turned all that stuff to black, so I'm converted. Um, yeah, I'll update you guys tomorrow um, when the stuff dries. I think you're supposed to wipe it down after. Um, once it dries, you're supposed to wipe it. Um, like all the extra. But I'll give it 24 hours and then see what I gotta do from there. So I don't know why I'm still showing you my hand. But alright guys, um, I'll cut it here. Actually, one more thing I want to show you is it doesn't work 
on painted surfaces or uh, I guess regular metal surfaces because I put that down to metal. And I mean, it turned it black a little bit, but it, it really works on the rusted spots. You know, the more rusty it is, the better the stuff actually works. Um, but I'm going through all this afterwards and putting a top coat of paint on all this stuff to give it even that much more protection. All right, so it's the next day. Um, I want to show you guys how this stuff turned out. So as you can see, it turned out pretty good. Um, yeah, I think this stuff is awesome. It's gonna be great for the uh, for the frame and uh, you know whenever I put floors down, all the supports that are rusty. Um, I wish I could just dip my whole truck in this stuff because it really is a good protectant. Um, so yeah, once again, I used Coraseal Rust Converting Metal Primer, and it works amazing. I was originally going to use the Eastwood, but I read some reviews, and this stuff is number one. Uh, just wear gloves when you uh, use this stuff, because I have it on my hands, and I cannot get it off for the life of me. I took a shower, and scrubbed, and scrubbed, and scrubbed, and scrubbed, and it would not come off, so... I guess that's a good thing, right? Won't come off of my truck. So, all right, guys. Catch me next time. We are uh, going to be putting this engine on a Volkswagen lift. And uh, I just did a big order of a bunch of sheet metal so we can get started and all that stuff. So, uh, yeah, follow me along. Like, share, subscribe. Subscribe. And, um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this.